The end I mentioned in Minecraft is extremely boring. So for the past six months, I have been transforming my end island into the Death Star. This took me over 300 hours and I did this all in Minecraft Hardcore. The first thing that we had to do was actually defeat the Ender Dragon 19 times to open up all of the end game. Okay, that's our first kill. And there we go, I the 20th time we saw the Ender Dragon in our world. This marked the end of phase 1, which meant it was time to head into phase 2, which meant it was time to start destroying the end island. Now that I was here, I remembered there was a bedrock in disguise, so we got to remove that. And with that, I have removed all of the bedrock that can obstruct our machines, and now it is time to start building our bombing machine. Okay, the machine is supposedly working now. I think we have to get into this thing and then break th this block. And it should be working actually, and I think it is. Okay, here we go. It is about to get there. I'm not exactly sure how it's supposed to work. And it's not. Yeah, it completely broke. Managed to make it work. It is absolutely going back to the original machine, and it would just loop around until the entire end island is destroyed. Now let's hit a very satisfying time lapse. After destroying the entirety of the end island, it was time to start collecting the 250,000 blocks that we would need for our Death Star build, which ranged from really easy items like 10 chests to over 70,000 wool. But first we needed to build a mob switch in the end so no more endermen could spawn. And with this, we have completed every item that we need for this mob switch. This is what it looks like, now let's get building. We 
we have completed the construction of our mob switch and now all we have to do is trap a zombie inside that chamber. So let's go back into the overworld, make a diamond sword, now we have to look for a zombie. Okay, I have managed to find one, now we have to check if he can hold a sword. And he cannot. Okay, this one absolutely can. Okay, he has a sword now, now we have to get him into the end portal and we shouldn't die. He is in the card, hopefully he won't despawn because I need to go and get coal. Okay, that's good, he's still there and I now have coal. Okay, now all we should have to do is put that there, put a coal right there. Oh no. Okay, there we go. And he has not gone through, that is not great. Okay, he has gone through, now I gotta quickly go in. And I think he's there. Um, I'm not sure. Yes, he is. Okay, he's on a minecart. Now let's put this here, grab our coal, and send him on his merry way. I have managed to catch him, which is actually very hard, and I'm, I'm actually quite relieved. And there we go, we have two villagers inside of this pen, and now we only need two more in this one. And there we go, the second batch is in. And with that, we can say that we have trapped 70 villagers, zombie villagers, inside of this chamber. So let's start collecting the easy items, and then we'll move on to collect the harder items. Oh, I wonder where I'm gonna get my obsidian from. We have now finished collecting all of the easy items, which are items that require less than a stack. Now we're going to go to the medium, which require a stack or a little bit more. So we have now finished collecting all of the medium items and now we're going to the point where we're going to start collecting hard items which will require their very own farms. First of all, a cactus farm. So let's start by collecting some cactus. Now that I've collected some cactus over here, let's start building our farm. And a few hours later, this is what we've got. Now that we have our cactus, we're now going to build a blue dye farm. And there we go, I have collected all of the blue dye that we will need. Now let's get some cactus smelting. Here we go, that is all of the green dye cooked.
I am now gonna use the sand duper to get all of the concrete that we are going to need since we're going to need a lot of it. With that I've collected enough concrete for our build but this is way too slow. So I've gathered the resources to build a concrete converter farm and that's exactly what we're going to build. Let's start building the collection system for our farm. Now let's build the base where all of the items will fall onto. This water will lead all of the items into the middle of the collection system. And there we go, all of the water leads into the center. This area will actually be where the TNT explodes from. This is where it will be created basically. Uh, now these are all like the timings of the redstone machine which actually tell it when to drop a TNT onto the concrete. There we go, that is the first piece of TNT that we have to place. This will be the area where we actually place all of the concrete, which then gets converted over here. And this is actually the machine that does that. These are the last pieces of redstone that we're going to have to place. And these are the last blocks of the build. We gave this farm for a while and now we should fill up these 6 stroker boxes with great concrete. Now what we have to do is collect 13 shulker boxes of andesite, which is going to take an extremely long time. Even though that was like 10 seconds to you, that was like 2 hours and a half to me. But that is all of the andesite that we're going to need. That was not quick. It took me like 3 hours, well maybe not that much, but it was a very long time to get almost 11 shulker boxes of stone. Now, let's get on to the most difficult item of the list. Which meant it was now time to gather the 70,000 wool, which meant we needed to make another farm. So the first thing that we have to do is gather many, many sheep. So I've gathered a few sheep, now I have to dye all of them gray. And there you go, all of the sheep are inside our huge pen where we are going to start breeding them. But while the sheep are breeding, I am going to collect resources for the sheep farm. After filling the sheep farm with half of the amount of sheep that fit there, I AFK for a while and got 80 shulker boxes of wool in that span of time. This is all of the items and now let's bring them to the end dimension. Now let's actually start building the Death Star in Minecraft. As I was building, I realized that I hadn't gathered the 20 shelter boxes of black concrete that I needed, but I have collected all of it now. These are the very last blocks of the trash chute where Leia and Luke and Han, Solo and everyone falls down.
Now let's actually build the prison cell block where Princess Leia was being held, which place where Han Solo and the crew rescued her and then followed by falling into the trash chute. These are the last blocks of the entire shell. But we're still not done, since we still have to make the entirety of the interior of the Death Star, which is the landing pad, the main hall, and the Emperor's throne room. Let's begin with the floor of the landing pad. Now that the landing pad was actually finished, it was time to start working on the last room, which was the Emperor's throne room. And these are the last blocks of the entire Death Star, and with that, we have completed all of the Death Star in Minecraft. After spending 300 hours gathering 250,000 blocks, destroying the entirety of the End Island, and many other insanely difficult things, it is actually time to show the final results.
you so so much for watching until the end it was a blast building the entirety of the death star in minecraft but i really appreciate it for you to watch to this point and a disclaimer i did not actually design the death star or anything inside it i just built it and pieced it in together like each room was separate and i made it into one whole build but i did not design it i will link the designer in the description and um, but thank you so much for watching actually make sure to subscribe because this did took over like 300 hours plus another like 22 edits but it was really fun so thank you so much for watching if you want to see the next video click the video on the right and if you want to see the last video click the video on the left